drive one road to the bottom of the valley, if you take a left, there's loads of climbing, if you take a right, there's loads of climbing. There are basically no crowds. It is one of the most beautiful places I've ever climbed. We are in the Swiss Alps, in the southwest of Switzerland, staying in a little village called Grion. I have been totally blown away by the amount of climbing here. Today we're at a limestone crag called La Moulin. There's about 25 routes from French 4 to all the way up to 7B+. It stays dry in the rain and it's just perfect here. There's one route I took on called La Belle Bio. It's really steady climbing, you kind of plodded all the way up to this crux, which felt impossible. Like I don't even know how people climb that thing. I am firstly quite scared and secondly pumped. There's loads of different types of climbing here. Every crag we go to offers something new. Sometimes it's granite sport, sometimes it's limestone, sometimes it's single pitch, sometimes it's multi pitch. All of it is of a really high quality. We're at uh, Pierre de Molle and it's a limestone slabby crag and there's nothing here harder than six people. We're here for a couple of weeks and we're staying at a wonderful chalet come hostel called Chalet Martin. It must be the most friendly and welcoming place you can stay in this area and definitely with the best rates to go with that. I'm mainly a Baldur and on one of the first days here we went and checked out this area called Play. There's no guidebook or anything, then it's right the way up this long road. But we got there and it is amazing. I would come back here on holiday just to go there. In Val on the Van, the main event, we went and checked out all the climbers talk about this crag. And uh, the route there is called La Femme Fontaine. It's a sustained route, it's beautiful granite. It's quite an imposing route, it's, uh, it's long, it's about 30 to 35 meters. The beginning of the route is good holds, going through some small series of cruxes, and you reach good resting points. and then the crux begins about two thirds of the way up. From there on in, it's a fight for about three bolts. Until you get a, a rest for the knee bar um, before the final bolt. Lots of technical moves, lots of long moves, it's dynamic, it's powerful, and it's definitely popular. 